Today I will be seeing the last of the UNESCO World Heritage Sites that I came here to see. Um, I don't just come to see World Heritage Sites, but uh, they certainly are uh, uh, something I do like, enjoy coming and seeing. So, um, yeah, bad start to the morning. I, I tripped <laughs> while I was rushing to get my hat. I took a chunk out of my finger and then the, yeah, the driver, he went the wrong way. And oh, anyway, I'm sure it will only improve. Um, because now I'm here at Gelati Monastery Complex. So, um, super excited. Okay, so this complex was founded in 1106 um, during the what is considered the golden age of Georgia. Now, the golden age of Georgia was when there was uh, King David the Builder and Queen Tamar when they, in the periods that they ruled. So, um, yeah, it's is one of the largest complexes in Georgia. Yeah, let me have information on the uh, UNESCO website. It says it's just one of the largest orthodox uh, complexes. So uh, I can only assume that means worldwide rather than just in Georgia. So yeah, let's go in and have a look. It is currently under restoration, which is fine um, because all of, uh, I guess, these uh, aged monuments um, need restoration. It just has to happen. So yeah, let's go. monastery and it wasn't just a monastery though it was also a center for learning and education so um, it was an academy so uh, yeah multi-purpose oh it's just so beautiful King David the Builder is entombed here and in order to get in you need to, well you don't need to because there's a different doorway, but once upon a time, in order to um, to get here you have to walk over his grave, so anyway let's go see it.
uh, Gelati Monastery and I've made my way via a bolt uh, um, over to Watsumeta Monastery. So um, I can't see it just yet. There is a walkway down to it. It's a beautiful walkway. It's just so lovely and shaded. In summer, this would be incredible, uh, although hot. Uh, anyway, I don't know. I, I don't have any internet, so I can't look up what's so special about this particular monastery, which is a shame. Um, but look, I'm sure it's going to be beautiful nonetheless. Stunning monastery. Uh, so busy though, because it's quite small. Um, <sighs> yeah, so now I'm just going to walk back up. Um, the bolt's waiting for me uh, to take me back into Katesa, which is great, because there's, like I said, there's a signal here. Um, but yeah, beautiful. I'd definitely recommend coming and visiting this one. Gorgeous. big deal here in Georgia and um, at the Motsamina um, oh, Motsamina oh, monastery that I was just at there was also a wedding going on there which was you know it was amazing to see so um, I am at the Caucasus fountain and it is pretty special it's in the center here in Katasi and <laughs> it has um, lots of figures uh, of animals and other you know other things that are very Georgian um, important statues. So they're all in this fountain. I'm going to go have a closer look in a minute once the traffic clears after the wedding procession just then. Um, yeah, I'm going to head over and have a closer look. Depot, which on my very first uh, trip in from the airport, the driver said, Look, it's a place that people like to go and eat, especially uh, for you know tourists. And so, I'm gonna head over there. I've read some of the reviews on Google, and they're quite funny because it's very polarizing. People either love it or they hate it. So, I'm gonna go and find out. Um, yeah. Oh, I'm gonna miss Georgian food. It's been incredible. I think I might have to get some recipes and start making some at home. Um, it's been awesome. Um, yeah, I've just got a few hours to kill now until I head to the airport. 
and head back to Abu Dhabi. Okay, so I ordered uh, some King Kali El Depo style. Um, five, the minimum you can order is five. Um, even though the price is an individual and that's because you can order as many as you like but just minimum five I don't know if it's in multiples of five though so mm, I'm not quite sure um, and I also ordered cornbread but uh, I don't think the order for the cornbread actually got put through and so I never got it um, but they didn't charge me for it at least but it's a shame because I really really wanted to try that and I didn't particularly feel like meat but I still ate it anyway and I have to admit that um, the El Depo style uh, Kinkali that I ordered was really delicious um, it just it, there was some chili in it I think there was some coriander in it there was there was stuff in it and it was really really delicious so really lovely um my experience was good i mean besides the missing order that's fine like it's not a problem at all like that was super busy um but the wait staff were lovely um except except for like the teenage kid who was like super grumpy <laughs> but he's a teenage boy uh so i don't really know what people expect um but yeah great food um yeah pumping atmosphere because it's just so busy and um yeah check it out to Mesven Venik Mesvenik Vavilla Mesvenik Vavilla uh, temple uh, that overlooks Kitesi. Now it was just a little bit of a walk, I've got some time to kill, so I thought I'd have a look on Google Maps and see what else there was to see. And this came up. So I just thought yeah, I'll come up here and I'll have a look. The views from the top here are stunning. Um, it overlooks the river and and Katesi and it's just it's just beautiful um, it was a little bit of a hike never trust Google directions um, it just wanted me to scale like a mountain just then um, in order to get here <laughs> um, when there was a street and don't get me wrong the street was steep but uh, at least it wasn't the side of uh, a cliff face or a rock face so um, yeah so not only is this a temple uh, but it is also a cemetery and um, yeah, it's, it's just a really nice peaceful area to come and, to come and enjoy looking over Katana. in the cemetery there is the castle tower of greenwood i want to say and it is a building that is by the looks of it being taken over taken over by um by a gorgeous climbing plant so it's really stunning um again it's just beautiful serene nice and cool because it's shady um yeah if you've got some spare time you know maybe you'd like to walk up here all right i am now at the airport and ready to go back to abu dhabi it's been a wonderful trip um i've loved every minute of georgia and i definitely recommend it as a location to come visit um i came i was here for nine days <laughs> i don't know if that was enough um, but it was what I had so I had a great time and um, yeah wonder where I'll go next